everyone, this is Onion. It's Friday, March 26, free market. This morning I'm going to go over uh, NEO with you, look at some technical insight, uh, short selling activity, institutional holdings, and uh, we'll, look at, we'll look over that uh, press release that was uh, sent out today. Uh, that's obviously affected the price. You can see the closing price yesterday and the bid and the ask this morning. Um, it's almost $3. I did, actually, it is $3 below, so um, we'll, we'll go over that press release in a second. Uh, you can see loss of volume, $5.3 million. Uh, I like to use the six-week chart uh, with Neil, and the last three days have been a lot of bearish uh, events triggered here. Um, you know, after that uh, reversal, um, you know, it was following the 21-day moving average, but it, the last two days it's really dropped off. So it's getting close to the 200-day moving average. If this, if the price crosses that, which is actually the 200-day moving average now is the support line of 34.50. So if this price touches or drops below 34.50. Um, that is a very, very strong indication of, uh, of downward uh, momentum. Um, the MACD, you can see, was, was correcting itself a little bit, but evened out with the average line yesterday, and then most likely is going to be dropping today because of the price. Uh, and you can see it's also well below the zero line here. Um, momentum's down. Um, pretty much every indicator is, is pointing down or a little bit sideways here, um, which, which is telling me it's, it's probably going to go a little bit uh, further. Uh, and obviously, with the, the news release, uh, <coughs> it's, it's reacting that way, right? Uh, RSI is at 37. A little bit more room to go before oversold. Uh, so if we look at that uh, at that news, and anyone that's traded uh, Neo or that you know is familiar with Neo, I've been following Neo now for for over a year, and uh, it's very reactive to news. And with that, uh, there was a press release sent out at about five o'clock. Um, and they're going to suspend uh, production. Uh, I think it's for five days, and they only uh, they only estimate it's going to affect 1,000 uh, vehicles. So it's not a really you know big loss, and this really isn't a surprise, right? We've we've known about the semiconductor shortage for for a while now. So uh, you know this might be an overreaction. Uh, we'll, you know we'll have to see uh, today, but definitely it should be a volatile day uh, if you're a day trader to accumulate money or shares. Uh, this will probably be another good day to do that. Uh, if we look at the the short selling activity. Uh, you know, basically, on average, uh, you know, 22%. Uh, and you look at the, the whole, this is the month of March here, uh, and it's, it's always in that range. Uh, the, uh, I just checked for the borrow rate. If you want to sell short today, um, it's 0.26%, uh, uh, and there's 10 million shares available. Uh, those values can change throughout the day. Now, there has been a lot of institutional activity, uh, and I don't really have the time to write down everything that has changed. Um, but these are very easy to find. You can find on Fentel or Finviz or something, uh, and you can see the actual holdings. But uh, uh, the institutional owners, there has been two additional owners added uh, since I reported this yesterday. Uh, and then you can see the change in shares here. The ownership went down a little bit, uh, in the, and obviously the shares went down a little bit, so the value went down. Uh, a little bit as well. So, um, but again, if you want everything in detail, there are plenty of uh, websites out there that you can uh, you can look at every every filing and get the exact numbers. But uh, that's general there. For a Forty point three one percent after uh, that earnings call is still strong uh, ownership uh, uh, strength and, and percentage there. So, uh, I hope this video helps. Uh, have a wonderful day and good luck.